Hi everyone, Kevin here. And everybody that knows me knows that I love to draw, right? And I was drawn all my life, ever since I was a kid. And the problem is, once I got older, I wanted something a little more permanent. And I saw a carving book one day and I said, wow, look at the stuff these guys are making with knives and chisels. I bet you I could do that. So I practiced and practiced and bought a carving book and learned what I could. And uh, wanted to put some of the doodles and faces that I drew all the time into something a little more permanent. So I found wood spirits through a carving magazine and I started playing with the wood and finally scrapped enough wood and figured it out. And most of the time I had a pretty good time. I had a ball. I just had to learn the right tools and the right techniques. But I always drew. And then I started a YouTube channel and I realized wow, a lot of people really want to make wood spirits. And after a while, if you're like me, you kind of get bored drawing, you know, carving the same old face with the same old techniques. Now, we all have to start somewhere. But if you can learn as you carve how to draw a little bit and just certain ways to change the expressions in your wood spirits, you won't get so bored and your characters come alive in all kinds of different ways. Right here, I'm just changing and practicing. I'm doodling. And I changed uh, the slant of the eyebrows, say, or the slant of the eyes, or how big the eyes are, how big the nose is, how long the nose is. Okay. Sometimes you don't really have to give them a mustache at all. Sometimes you might want to add teeth, like I'm doing here to this guy. Okay. But don't get stuck in the same old routine. Uh, everybody's. Kind of, you get the idea of a wood spirit once you've seen so many of them. Of yeah, it's the bearded mountain man guy of the woods. But you guys are wood carvers, or at least you're striving to be. Okay, start playing with your expressions, play with your face, change the hair. So this video is going to be about doing exactly that. See how this guy right here doesn't have a mustache at all? Uh, it'd make a great character if I was doing flat plane carving. Right here, I put the eyebrows together. And I just change the eyes a little bit, right? Give them a skinnier nose. Make the mustache go straight out, okay? And you don't have to put hair on his head at all, okay? Look how different the faces are, all right? So we go to the paper a lot, and we change different ways we can do this, all right? And that's what this video is going to be about. Now, I've carved a lot of wood spirits over the years, all right? And the more you carve them, the more bored you get with carving them, I found out. So I started putting different expressions on them. And I've had everything from mountain men that are kind of somber looking to, you know, just pieces in cottonwood bark that are your basic wood spirits. Some that are a little happier looking. Some that are rounder in the face. Some that I painted. Okay. Some with teeth, some without. Here's a serious mountain man carving with a bear cape. And wizards, because everybody loves wizards. Then you start branching out to making canes and walking sticks. And I like to put big giant noses on a lot of my canes. Gives them a lot of character. Okay. And you start getting into, you know, stuff like this. This is just a piece of godwood bark. You can paint those just as well as you can paint... Uh, any other piece that you're making, okay, here's a Native American, here's a caricature of an Indian that I did, all right, and of course your basic wood spirit. And eventually you start playing with, you know, bear heads and animals, uh, bears, lions, here's a unicorn that I did way back when, and here's another little cutesy blue-eyed bear, even to the point where you make monsters. And my point is, don't get stuck just carving one thing or one type of thing. Branch out, experiment, and the more you learn expressions and faces, the more things you can do. So here we are. We're at the paper. Get your pencil out. We're going to try and make a wood spirit face. And we'll try to give him a little uh, different expression than kind of the norm. Okay, so I'm going to draw two lines down like this. Kind of angry lines they look. And then right at the top, I'm going to... Draw a line just like that. We're going to put the eyes at the bottom of those two lines. Just like that. From there, I'm going to draw another line. 
on both sides. And we're going to put his eyes right underneath there. And draw the pupils a little bit looking to the side. This will make them look a little more realistic and give them more expression. Don't just stick them looking straight out. Okay. Now for the nose, I'm going to bring it down a little further than usual. And I'm going to make it nice and wide on the sides. And then kind of round it off on the bottom. Because every nose should kind of be round at the bottom there. The ball of the nose, you know, in the front. Some are more pointy than others. Some are just flat and wide. Play with it and make them your own. And put some nostrils in there. And we'll bring our lines down for about how wide we want the nose. I like to give my characters a lot of wrinkles and eye bags. That makes them really expressive. I'll put wrinkles at the top of the nose going into the forehead. And the more lines you put here are really going to make that character stand out and make it more interesting to look at once you carve him. On the sides of the face, I like to kind of sink them in to give them that hollow, uh, what's the word I'm looking for here? Anyway, I sink them in so he looks more old and wise in a lot of my wood spirits. And then the mustache, you see on the bottom here, I like to make jagged lines. You can take the tip of your knife or if you're using a Dremel, you can cut these out also. But it makes the mustache a lot more interesting. Make sure you stay symmetrical on the other side and slope that cheek inward a little bit. And the mustache doesn't have to be even. Actually, if it's a little off, it looks a little more realistic. Now, right here, before I even start the mouth, I'm going to give him a couple of teeth. Basically, I'm mixing some of the techniques I showed you in the sketches I did in the beginning of the video. The mustache is kind of straight out. We're giving him more of a toothy look. Okay, and then we'll put his mouth underneath that and then color that in black so we get to see where we're at and what he's going to look like. Looks a little different than your average wood spirit already. So have fun. Experiment with different expressions. That's the whole idea in this video. You don't really have to draw too much. You just make a couple of eyes and then play with different designs for hair. And you've pretty much got a wood spirit. As long as you can get a mouth and eyes in them and put a bunch of wrinkles. Change up the beard too. Sometimes you don't need a big bushy beard, just a little will do you. As in this example here. Kind of made it come to a point at the bottom and didn't really branch it out all over his face like you see in so many others. Just darkening up some lines here so I see what I got. Another point to make is don't be afraid to make a bald-headed wood spirit. They really have a lot of character. You can give them a couple of tufts of hair if you want. You can make the hair any way you want. I'm just trying to draw what I think would look okay on him. You could even add more hair later if you don't like that and it's not quite enough. A couple of mustache lines not overdone. And make sure those eyelids come down the way we showed you in the eye video, you know. Now right on the sides here, I could put a couple more tufts of hair if I don't want them too bald and give them a little more interesting look. And there you go. You pretty much have your wood spirit planned out on paper. And once you draw these enough, you draw it 
If you draw it on paper first, you have it in your head before you even pick up your Dremel or your knife or your chisel, whatever you're using. Okay. So definitely experiment and draw these characters and then try to change the expression. Even doing simple little things like this next one here. Look, it's just a little blocky nose but eyes skinny and going up gives him kind of a mad look. And just try to change it around on paper and then when you make a carving you could do the same. Just change it around. This guy doesn't even have to be half as fancy. All right, see how simple I'm making him? But he'll have a whole different look and the more lines you put in and the way you strategically place them is what's going to make him look like a decent carving or not, or drawing. All just by changing the eyes a little bit. Even if I just make scribbles for hair. Pencil needs to be pushed out, I think. <laughs> but you get the idea. Practice changing your expressions. Lift the eyebrows up. Point the eyebrows down. Raise one and lower the other. Uh, give him a mouth with a mustache covering it. Take away the mouth. And just give him all beard and mustache. You know, different things so your wood spirits don't always look the same. Okay? That's the whole idea. Is trying to get him to look different so we don't get bored carving the same exact wood spirit over and over. And then if you do give them away or you go to sell one, you know, and people have seen a lot of your work, then they'll start saying, well, why do they all look the same? You know, so practice. Find better ways. Hopefully this video will give you a couple of, of examples. But find better, way, better ways to uh, shape the face. Right here he's got really high cheekbones. Just kind of slits for eyes. And he's a happier wood spirit, okay, or character anyway. I mean, you could use these for a lot of things, not just carving wood spirits. It's just as far as drawing practice goes. But practice faces. Sometimes just a couple of lines give you the expression you want, and you don't have to put any eyes in. Okay. You can take a piece out of his mouth. We give him just a little bit more expression where one corner of his mouth is open, you know. So I'm hoping that this video gave you some ideas. Go to the paper. We're going to start drawing more and more. Uh, if you want me to draw something and help you in a video, let me know. Put it in the comments below. And get your paper and pencil out before you go to the wood. And practice making some expressions. Then you'll be good to go, and your wood spirits will be better off for it. Thanks for watching.